and welcome to this week in Canadian EdTech Special Edition. I'm honored to have join me for a Mindshare Learning Moment, Adrian Defonso Vinenziano, the Learning Development Specialist at CompuGen, who is uh, an educator by training. Thank you for joining me uh, this morning, Adrian, in these most challenging times. Thank you, Robert. Thank you for having me this morning. And uh, how's your family doing so far? I hope everyone's healthy and well. We are all doing well. It's um, over a month and a half, so we sort of have a, a, a program that works for our family. Um, so everything is going well and hope likewise in your family as well. Yes, absolutely. We've been, uh, you know, being mindful of social distancing, but we are getting outdoors and trying to keep a balance and getting some exercise in, in the meantime. It's never been a more fascinating time to be in education and kudos to you for the professional learning that you've been implementing, supporting teachers with remote learning, uh, utilizing a great free tool in Microsoft Teams in education. How is it going so far? It's going great from my perspective um, in terms of my role with CompuGen. Um, I have been so busy uh, being engaged with uh, educators, consultants, um, IT leaders, principals. So have been conducting remote uh, learning sessions for many individuals on how to get ramped up in using the technology to engage the students in this uh, remote learning environment that we find ourselves in today. And so perhaps you can uh, share a bit of a success story on how teachers are leveraging remote learning to stay connected to kids. And it's it's an amazing tool when you get them all together and you see the tiled effect. It's it's actually quite inspiring and, and kind of mimics the, the classroom in a way, uh, at least, you know, visually. Definitely. And I think, Robert, the whole idea is to remain connected and, and students thrive for that. And being able to connect, collaborate, communicate, and have that connection to continue um, through these challenging times is important. So as mentioned over the last um, number of weeks, um, I've trained just over 600 educators um, nationally. Wow. Um, yeah, large number, uh, quite fascinating. And, and you're absolutely right, like everyone is different in the continuum where they are right now, how they are using the applications that they are using. But I think the bottom line for every educator when I speak to them is that they want to still uh, remain connected with their students. They want to uh, be able to engage in learning, however that may look like right now. Um, and be able to have their peers connect with them as well while we're practicing social distancing. That being said, it's not only learning, it's, it's about um, <clears throat> ensuring that students um, are being able to check in with them and making sure that they are totally fine from a, a mental point of view, a mental state. And, right. and I think that's important as teachers, we do it when we're in the classroom, we do it every day. How are you? How are you doing? And so to continue that sort of interaction and making the students know that you're still there as a teacher is so important nowadays. Brilliant. Thank you for that. And uh, the notion of inclusion and creating a level playing field is also very powerful. I, I heard of students who typically would be less inclined to speak in class or on the shy side are really uh, doing well in this uh, in this remote learning environment. Yeah, so I've been training on um, many of the Microsoft tools <clears throat> and many of them do promote inclusivity, um, accessibility, equity, and th the whole idea of for example, in a Teams meeting, um, the hands up feature that has been enabled in the environment. So a student who perhaps doesn't want to turn on their mic but wishes to speak, they can raise their hand at first or they can use the chat box and ask a question. So being able to tap into those um, those sort of efforts of the students that make them thrive in a learning environment 
can be addressed within the Teams environment that I've been doing a lot of training. There's many tools that um, students can use while engaged in a meeting. The whole idea of being able to connect to see everybody on a video screen is so important. We know that that connection, when we engage more than one sense, we feel that connection more so with our peers and with our teachers. So um, a fascinating uh, platform that has, has enabled many teachers to make that connection and to continue delivering the learning for the students remotely. Fantastic. Thank you for that. So what is the role of the parent in uh, remote learning time? And, and I think parents have always played a role in, in a child's education. I think both you and I know that as parents ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, it may look a little different now, they may need to do a little bit more um, in order to support their child because they're not in the um, the brick and mortar building anymore where they have that one on one contact with the teacher for seven hours a day or whatnot. <clears throat> so there may be a little bit more effort um, needed in terms of parents in, in helping their child move towards this remote learning. But the neat thing about it is that within the Microsoft tools that are available, whether it be Office Lens, which is a scanner, or whether it be um, the immersive reader that allows content to be read to the student, allows for um, line focus, or allows for parts of speech to be um, visualized on the screen, these are all tools that parents can use to help support their or um, the math solver when they're working within the math curriculum. This will help guide the students on how to solve math problems. So <clears throat> although parents are helping and I believe they're taking a greater role in supporting their child, I think it's neat that there are these tools that are embedded in the application that they can tap into and help support their child. Thank you so much for that. So any final thoughts to share as we wrap this conversation up on remote learning and supporting student success at home? I just think um, many people are doing a great job and um, they will continue doing, um, continue delivering learning to their students. I think in times of this when um, when we're forced to embrace something, this is when innovation happens. And I believe um, the way we learn and the way we teach will be forever changed. And I think it's a wonderful change. And, um, and I'm looking forward to what may come out of it when we are back to some sort of normalcy, um, back when we are back perhaps in the classroom or in universities, et cetera. With that, I thank you so much for your inspiring insight today, Adrian. Thank you, Robert. That was Adrian Defonso Veneziano, Learning Development Specialist of CompuGen Inc. My name is Robert Martellacci of the Mindshare Learning Report. Be sure to check out W Mindshare Learning to get your latest issue. And until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and keep the learning curve steep.